Hello friends. Today we are going to compare avalanche breakdown and Jena breakdown. The first point of comparison is doping concentration which can be either high or low. High doping concentration means narrow depletion layer and low doping concentration means wider depletion layer. Now when we reverse by these two junction a junction with a low doping concentration and wider depletion region will break at a voltage which is greater than 8 and a junction with higher doping narrow depletion may break between 5 volt to 8 volt so first case is avalanche breakdown second case is Jinnah breakdown after breakdown if we plot the characteristic curve we may find that Gina has a sharp characteristic of breakdown whereas avalanche has a gradually changing characteristic now let's understand how avalanche breakdown takes place this is a lightly doped junction with a wider depletion layer reverse bias due to reverse bias minority charge carriers these are electrons in p holes in n are accelerated towards the junction due to acceleration the kinetic energy associated with minority charge carrier increases now when these minority charge carriers with high kinetic energy collides with stationary atoms they impart some of their kinetic energy to the balance electron balance electrons of stationary atoms once these balance electrons acquire kinetic energy from accelerated minority charge carrier they become free for conduction now these newly freed electrons are again accelerated and they again collide with more stationary atom in this way carrier multiplication takes place and large number of minority charge carriers are generated which results into large reverse current which finally leads to avalanche breakdown next is avalanche uh, no next is jinnah breakdown jinnah breakdown occurs in heavily doped pn junction with narrow depletion region now this is reverse bias due to this narrow depletion region the intensity of electric field across the depletion region is quite high and that intensity is given by this formula. This high electric field breaks the covalent bond in silicon crystal. Once covalent bonds are broken, it generates large number of free electrons. These free electrons can generate large reverse current and we say junction has undergone Jena breakdown so Jena is due to high electric field intensity and avalanche is due to multiplication factor now if you combine them into a chart this is Jena and it has broken somewhere at this point and avalanche at this point so you can say avalanche is a slow process it occurs at higher voltage higher reverse voltage one important point is that both the breakdown can occur simultaneously that means if a junction has undergone breakdown it could be due to collective efforts of 
avalanche and jhina to summarize this if if a junction is highly doped it breaks at lower reverse voltage and we can say jhina is dominant effect if a junction is lightly doped it breaks at higher reverse voltages and we can say avalanche is 